CataractCoach.com. Bent ab internal needle goniectomy, the bang procedure. This is a low cost and effective way of lowering the intraocular pressure glaucoma. So 25 gauge or 27 gauge needle bending the tip a little bit less than 90 degrees. So 75, 80 degrees. You can also put a little tiny extra bend at the very, very tip right here just to make it easier to access. There you go. And follow that curved tissue plane. So again, let's zoom in again. There's bending the needle, 25 or 27 gauge needle. Make sure it's 5 eighths of an inch long, not the half inch. And now going in here to the angle, and you'll find it cuts very beautifully. So you want to have about 90 or 100 degrees of cut. So starting on the right side, holding that gonio prism, coming across here to the left, just like that. Now this is Arsham Shabani's technique. He is brilliant. Love that he developed this. It is so ultra low cost. You can see there's that strip of TM that was removed. And now you can flip the needle the other direction. And again, widen this up to hopefully about 90 or 100 degrees worth. So here's the abstract. This was published in the ASRS site. This bang technique is a simple and low cost, minimally invasive glaucoma surgery. And here are the results. They follow the patients and put them in two different arms. And they had patients go FACO plus the bang procedure, and here's what they got. At post-op month three, the average pressure was 14 millimeters of mercury. So an almost 30% decrease in the LP and a 77% decrease in the medication, which is about one medication. And both were statistically significant. So they had an average of almost 100 degrees of trabecular mesh work that was excised in these patients. So this preliminary study shows the bang technique is promising and it's at least equivalent to other proprietary MIGS procedures. And all this for less than a dollar. Here, Arsham Shabani is going to give us a few pearls. Now, what does on-foss really mean? I mean, we talk about how to really get a good view of the angle and on-foss means facing forward. So when we have the angle structures facing forward, we should see the trabecular meshwork, the scleral spur, ciliary body band, nice distinct layers ideally. And, but a lot of this really matters as far as how our perspective is. So as the surgeon, we're viewing the angle, it's actually us who is now facing forward. And it's the patient's eye or the eye itself that, that we turn. And so if we face forward and we are facing the angle exactly in line, we should see these distinct layers. But many times what happens is the patient is not turned away from us enough. So the eye is turned slightly toward us. It's not an ideal position, but as you can see, this angle is reduced, our view is reduced, the structures don't change in size or shape, but our perspective changes. They now look shorter. They look like they blend together. And this is where people can run into trouble sometimes treating the wrong band and causing a potential cyclodialysis cleft. Now, think of it in an extreme. If we have the trabecular meshwork just perfectly in line with the scleral spur and the ciliary body band, all you'll see is just this one single piece of tissue. You're not really sure uh, what you're viewing. But most of the time, this is what things look like when your view is not that great. So this is what we expect to see. If we really have the patient's eye turned away from us, you'll see the trabecular meshwork, the spur, and the ciliary body band in distinct layers. But when it's not quite turned enough, these layers now to our perspective look smaller or shorter and they blend together and it's very difficult to really uh, put your device in the right spot. And so if you ever get to the point where this is your view, just realize you need to turn the patient's head slightly further away from you to get that better viewing angle. And let's end here with Arsham's fellow doing the very first attempt at the same procedure. So again, holding the gonio prism appropriately. Now don't put too much OVD because you'll, you'll collapse some of the structures here. And then also avoid getting blood under the gonio prism. And you can see this technique is working beautifully. Cutting across it in that one direction. Very nice. And then you can go back in the other direction. Flip the needle tip to the other side. And you'll see some reflux of blood, which is totally normal and to be expected here. And again, this was very efficacious. And this is a fellow doing it for the very first time. And the first video I showed you was Arsham himself doing his very first attempt at this bang procedure. So I want to congratulate Dr. Shivani for a beautiful technique, something that will help countless patients across the world.